First News got a tip that Boardman High School students were involved in underage drinking at a school event. Well, we called the school district and started asking questions. Late this afternoon, First News reporter Julie Bursick was the only TV reporter who talked with school administration. And Julie's live in studio for what she found out. Yeah, Acting Superintendent Timothy Saxon won't say exactly how many students are involved in this incident, but he did tell me people at the game tipped off the school that students might be drinking. Now, school principals were at that game and they tackled that situation right away. Boardman Schools isn't releasing the names of the students because they're minors. It is following board policy for disciplining them. We know kids are going to make poor choices, but we're an educational system. We want to help kids. I found a copy of the student handbook for Boardman Schools, and it spells out exactly what happens if a student is found with alcohol. The first is up to a 10-day home suspension. Now that can be reduced if the student and parent follows the recommendations of the administration. And our first recommendation is to cooperate and tell the truth. Uh, that's probably the most important thing. You want to get to the truth so you can make a good, informed decision on how to, uh, uh, to apply the appropriate discipline. Saxton says the district is sifting through students' stories and assessing what happened. If we think we have a serious situation here, we want to get the kid help. One resource the school has is its Yes Fest, an event that encourages students to make the right decisions. We're still going to do that. We're going to drive kids to positive choices. We know there are temptations and negative choices out there, but we want to get them to the positive choices. The district says what happened at last week's game is another opportunity to teach students. Kids do make mistakes. It's what you do after the mistake. Uh, to make, it, it make sure it's corrected, to make sure you get them on the right path, and let others see how kids can make, to make mistakes, how you can get them help. I checked with Boardman Township Police to see if there was a police report for this incident. There was not one. And earlier this month, First News was following a story involving alcohol at Mineral Ridge's homecoming dance. With that, the school was handling that investigation as well. Dave? All right, Julie, thanks very much. Now